Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, here with your readings for November the 18th through the 24th. Welcome to this very cold and blistery day in New York City. <laughs> My building is freezing as well. The heating isn't on. But anyway, I digress. Um, if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope you enjoy these readings and that you will return. And if you are returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate your loyalty, your love, and support. Um, these readings are for the collective. Uh, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. You know, sometimes the readings are very specific. Spirit wants to reach a certain person. Um, so uh, let go of it. So don't, what I just want to say, don't assume that everything I say here is applicable to you. Um, now, these are for your sun, moon, and rising. So if you know your moon and rising, um, check out those readings too. And all the links to the other videos will be below. Sometimes it takes me a minute or two to get them up. But if you go to the playlist for this month, you will find them in there. Sorry, it's a little thing. There. <laughs> it's a little piece of fluff. Um, so, as I said before, these are general readings. If you would like a more personalized, in-depth, and um, tailored reading for you, uh, click on this link here. It will take you to my website, and you can see the kind of readings that I offer. Um, also, I have a Facebook group, guys, and it's a, it's a private group, and every two weeks I do a live stream in that group. Um, which correlates with the full moon and the new moon. So next week, uh, the new moon is in Sagittarius, I believe. Um, so I will be, um, I will be doing a live feed for the new moon. Um, and when when I do the live feed, wh whoever shows up, I look at their horoscopes, and we have this really lovely interactive you know, live feed, and I look at how the new moon will affect them, how they will receive the energies from that new moon. And I have my uh, tarot cards in hand, and I answer uh, questions. So we have a really good time. You just have to, you know, uh, request uh, to get in, and, um, and Bob's your uncle. You're in. <laughs> now, uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Another way to support this channel is through Patreon. Click on this link here. Check out my Patreon page. I post things in Patreon that I don't post anywhere else. And I want to take this opportunity to thank my patrons so much. I really appreciate you guys. You really help me out. Um, and other than that, just please like, uh, comment, share, and subscribe. So without further ado, oh no, I would just want to say um, these readings come in three sections. The intro, which is this, then there's the astrology report, and then there is the tarot reading. And I put skip time um, stamps um, in the show more section below so that you, if you're checking out Sun, Moon and Rising, you don't have to listen to the astrology all over again or the intro. You can just skip straight to your uh, tarot reading. So without further ado, let's go to the astrology report, shall we? Hello and welcome to the astrology section of your reading for November the 18th through the 24th. I'm your astrologer, Mary Trimble, here to tell you what's going on in the celestial sky this week. Let's start with Tuesday, November the 19th. Mars moves into Scorpio. When a planet moves into another sign, it's a huge shift in energy. Um, now, Mars comes home to Scorpio because it's the co-ruler of Scorpio. It rules along with Pluto. Um, when Mars moves into Scorpio, um, it's about power and strength and control. It's about getting what one wants and having the energy to go after it. Um, so we will feel energized and perhaps inspired and motivated. Um, it's also a time when our libido is raised. <laughs> It's very high and active, I might add. So some of us might get lucky. Hey, plan your date. 
on Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, on Wednesday, Mercury stations direct at 11 degrees. Now, look, Mercury is the planet of communication, uh, electronics, mechanics, short distance travel, right? Um, and 11 is a very powerful number. I feel this is one of those, when this plan, when any planet stations direct or retrograde grade, it slows down and the qualities of that planet are emphasized at this time. So things may break down and have to be repaired, which I'm sure you've gone through for the last, you know, six weeks or, or three weeks for whatever. Actually, we were in a very a long period of a shadow time and we will be still have a shadow time um which means that we'll be feeling the effects until mercury kind of speeds up and goes forward again um so at the same time that mercury is stationing direct it's also sextiling the moon so that is a lovely uh aspect so with the sextile to the moon, uh, we may have heartfelt conversations and have the courage, perhaps have the courage to express our needs and wants from loved ones. Um, but I will say this, emails and texts can go awry in this energy. So make sure you're sending uh, your communications to the right recipient. You know, things like that <laughs> happen. Be careful. Be careful what you put in writing anyway. Um, so Friday, on Friday, November the 22nd, the sun moves into Sagittarius. So this is also a huge shift, right, in energy. And at the same time, it's in a lovely trine to Chiron. Uh, the beautiful relationship between the sun and Chiron will set the stage for us to help and heal others with the empathy gained while surviving our own challenges in life, because Chiron is the wounded healer. Now, this will especially affect those who are in the uh, helping, who are in helping careers, you know, um, or those looking for a career in helping others. So any kind of service career, you know, nurses, nonprofit, whatever it is. So on Sunday, the November the 24th, Venus conjuncts Jupiter. This is an incredible uh, aspect. Venus conjunct Jupiter is about love and abundance, harmony and joy. Um, this is an easy aspect. Um, where you don't really have to take any action. You just become a magnet for all good things. Any hard work that you've done in the past will pay off and success is imminent with this. And it's very, you know, what you've worked on will come to fruition and, you know, and get you'll get paid. I love that. This, your inner beauty attracts love and helpful people. Go out and bask in this energy. It's important to be out and to make connections. Be there so that you can take full advantage of this energy. This is a celestial gift, guys, this is. It's the best energy for falling in love. Any new encounter has the possibility for a lasting romance, so that's exciting. Now, it's great for finances too, guys. Uh, investments should really do well, especially in art, jewelry, and other luxury items. Um, you could be the beneficiary of an unexpected windfall. Cha-ching, darling. <laughs> I love that. Now, on the same day, Mars opposes Uranus. So that's a little bit of an, a challenging aspect, um, but it can also be motivating. It's an explosive energy. It can be explosive, uh, which can be impulsively expressed. It's like no thought uh, before um action or verbalization. So, you know, it's like if you have any kind of built up resentment towards someone, this could come out. It's likely to come out during this time. I, so I think of road rage a little. It's kind of, you know, 
And, and when I say road rage for, rage, for me, when I'm driving, I'm just cursing at people, you know, <laughs> in the car on myself. They don't hear it. It's just me. I go, I'm not even going to go into what I say, but I just get very frustrated on the road. <laughs> so, you know, that's how it comes out for me. Um, and also, you know, resist the urge to engage in social media wars, you know, because it can come out like that. Um, it's like, you know, you could say things that you may regret later or react in a way that you may regret later. Now, you know, with this lovely energy of Venus conjunct Jupiter, it could be expressed in a physical way, such as exercise or sports. You can work that out in that way. Um, you can work all that pent up energy and frustration out in, you know, exercising, do things like that. Or uh, in a sexual way, make love, darling, not war. <laughs> Uh, this energy brings in the need for freedom of expression. That's what it is. It's of not wanting to be restricted by the norms of society. It's advisable to have more foresight, though, and resist the urge to react. Um, try instead to pause before saying something. You could later regret and respond diplomatically. <laughs> um, and Monday... I'm just going to quickly mention this. Uh, Venus moves into Capricorn, where the focus will be on materialism and status. And also on Tuesday, we have the new moon in Sagittarius. So join me in the Facebook group to find out how that will affect you personally. Okay, guys, without further ado, let's go to the tarot card section of your reading, shall we? Hello Libra and welcome to the tarot card section of your reading for November the 18th through the 24th and this I've already shuffled them one last shuffle this is for Libra what wonderful gifts guys blessings and help information can you give Libra for this coming week may these cards be filled with love abundance blessings and Three cards for Libra, please. Three cards for Libra. Three cards for Libra. Three cards for Libra, please. Three cards for Libra. There's one. Two more cards for Libra, please. Two more cards for Libra. Oh, there you are, two cards. Here we go. Oh, lovely. All right, let's go to your clarifying cards. These are clarifying cards for Libra. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Libra for this coming week? Okay, please clarify. Please clarify. Oh, the whole deck tried to fall out. You've got a lot of messages going on here, Libra. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, please clarify. <laughs> and please clarify. Okay. Let's take a look at your card, shall we, Libra? Okay, the first card out is the Hermit. Clarified by the Ten of Cups. Then you have the Page of Cups. Clarified by the Page of Cups from a different deck double indemnity here and then you have the empress beautiful empress clarified by the hierophant very interesting libra okay so the first card out is the hermit 
meditation. I always think of meditation when I think of the hermit. You know, he goes into also the light at the end of the tunnel. If you've been through a difficult time, I feel that, you know, things are really changing for you. Really, you know, help is on the way. There's hope here. He's, uh, you know, he's taken a respite from society. He goes into a cave. He voraciously reads everything that's around. He becomes wise. He meditates. He connects with the ethereal realm. He comes out like a spiritual guru. And then he holds the lamp up for others to show others the way. And the lamp represents his mind, right? He's no longer controlled by his mind. Um, he can't control his mind. That's not what meditation is about. Meditation is about no longer being enslaved to that monkey brain, you know, reacting because of thoughts that create emotions that make you react in a way that's sometimes not appropriate. So this is about him holding the light up and teaching others how to get there. And I feel that when you quieten that mind within, it's like happy families, dreams and wishes come true. It's like you can take that to the bank, Libra. It's really about going within. It's about connecting with source energy. And this is true nirvana, right? This is this is the happy ending. This is contentedness. This is happy in all areas of your life. Your needs are being met. You've got, you know, love and affection and you know, that lovely closeness, closeness. And, you know, if you don't have a family, it can be your chosen family, your friends. But this is like things are really looking up for you now. This is like a really good omen. And then you have the page of cups, darling, the gift of love, the gift of intuition and psychic abilities also. Um, but look how affluent and how gorgeous and charming is a young it's youth, it's that young at heart, it's a wonderful um, energy. I feel that, yes, yeah, some of you may uh, encounter someone new, and I'm telling you, in this energy with the sun, uh, the sun, is it the sun? Yeah, the, no, it's Jupiter conjunct uh, Venus. Come back to me, brain. With this lovely energy of Jupiter conjunct Venus, if you meet someone, look, you've got it clarified by the, this is like fertility. This is a wonderful kind of energy and cosmic um, blessing to create a long lasting romance. You know, this is like really exciting. Um, some of you definitely will meet someone. You can get the, you know, they're messengers, right? And they can, you know, you can get a message, a text, an email, you know, electronic phone calls, you know, of love. Love, love will keep us together. Libra, think of me, babe, whenever. <laughs> and then, darling, you have Venus herself. There you go. Venus, she's right there in the Empress three, darling. She's pregnant with ideas. Listen, it can, this can be news of a baby coming in too. I just have to say that's another kind of uh, message. It can be literally that. You could have news of a new little tyke joining the family somewhere in there. But, you know, listen, this is the divine feminine. The Empress is the Queen of Queens, the Divine Feminine. She's sensual. She's exuberant. She's creative. She's manifesting. She's like, she's got these ideas and she's coming up. She's like, I always think of her like, this is the kind of energy, right? It's me in the kitchen <laughs> cooking like this, you know, making something incredible and there's food all over the floor. <laughs> It takes me forever to clean up, you know, but the food, it's, you know, I come out with a gastronomic creation. <laughs> she just creates. So this wonderful, creative, beautiful energy, it's like music too, creating music and, and art and, you know, jewelry and makeup and just looking fabulous. It's like blessings. And Libra, you know, Venus rules your sign. This is wonderful for you. You're really going to feel this energy. 
And look, you've got the Hierophant clarifying it. You have to trust. And it's really interesting because these are, this is a time where it's, if you have an idea, it's important to act on it, to, to take the action and get it, get it t- taken care of, get it done. You know, it's about um, putting it into reality. So what? take the steps to manifest your, um, whatever that creative idea you've been kind of mulling around in your brain, but you've been maybe a little too scared to kind of get up and make it happen. Get up and make it happen. This is a perfect energy for you to get. Have faith and trust that whatever you're, you know, creating is, it will be successful in this cosmic soup. It really will. So get up, take the action, do it in spite of how you feel. Just do it. Put the fear aside. Just get up and do it. This is a wonderful, incredible uh, cosmic blessing here for you, Libra. Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it with friends, family, neighbors, co-workers, social media comment. I answer every comment and I welcome feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I love you all and I'll see you next week.